$22,000. That's how much the Wyoming Valley West School District says it's owed for unpaid lunches. The district sent about 1,000 letters to parents telling them to pay up or the school district would take them to court or worse, have their children put into foster care. News of this threatening letter reached Todd Carmichael, CEO and founder of Lacombe Coffee in Philadelphia. Carmichael offered to pay the debt at full cost. He spoke with us on the phone today about his offer. You know, no strings attached. You know, if we don't want an airport named after us, we, we just like this debt to be forgiven. You know, a lot of these people are struggling. But Carmichael says school board president Joseph Mazur told him no. Carmichael tells us he wanted to pay the debt because growing up, he was raised by a single mom on a limited income. He was a recipient of free lunch as a child. I was angry. I was upset. And I just said, guys, just don't don't give up. You know, call them back. Maybe it's just emotional. But that was it. No more calls. They won't take calls. They won't do anything. Wyoming Valley West School Board officials tell Newswatch 16 they've received about 100 offers from donors all over the country. School Board Vice President David U. Savage says he would be in favor of taking the offered donation and wiping the debts cleaned. If we can get it in one lump sum, why do we want to have to go out and go after people, you know, call them, write them letters, do whatever we're going to do. Other taxpayers we spoke to in the district agreed. They should take it only due to the fact that it's a good Samaritan doing something good for children. You know, children don't have a voice, so they might as well just take it. School board officials tell Newswatch 16 they'll be meeting here tomorrow morning to discuss with a lawyer if and how they could take this money. Carmichael says his offer is still on the table. Carolyn Blackburn, Newswatch 16, live in Luzerne County.